Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to talk about the Japanese man who spent $2,000 to be a dog. This is where it gets strange for me. A dog being around other dogs is kind of weird. I mean, a, a, a guy pretending to be a dog. Hello. Why is there a person behind the bench? This is another thing where we talk about keep your stuff in the house. Here we go about being around other dogs. Odd. Why do you want the dogs to be around him? This it's, it's a human being. Y'all understand that, right? It also goes on to say that this person likes to be a uh, pet by other human beings. <sighs> he ain't hurt nobody though. It doesn't matter. This man is being around other dogs. He spent two thousand dollars on a costume to be a dog, and we're not even questioning it. We're not gonna take. We're not gonna allow this to be. Sorry guys, I'm gonna see if there's anything else important that happens. Nope. Uh, he has a whole channel. Wow. Listen, this is people who are Ethereans that do this kind of stuff. This is not a furry thing. I want to make sure we get that understood. Okay. I've obviously had an interview with the furry that's still on my channel. It's, it's about a year ago, so you can go back and have my interview with furries. But listen, they're in my whole video on Ethereans. Ethereans are the people who do this kind of stuff, who literally get on all four act like the animal furries dress up in costumes furries dress up in costumes that is like it's not a real animal they're like animorphs i think that's what you call them which is animals that can stand up on their two feet it's, they have human-like characteristics right so it's, a, it's it's different and they normally dress up like that because they just want to do cosplay right they just dress up as some random thing that they did all right and some of it's sexual some of it's not all right but Therians, Therians will go this far. A Therian would get in a full costume, get on all fours. Uh, normally, none of them can afford a $2,000 costume. But some of them will, um, they'll wear cat ears, they'll wear a tail, and they'll get on fours and they'll run on all fours, right? I think you call it quads. Um, so, is this normal? Is this something we should, once again, is this something we should normalize? Or right, question. Obviously, we should question. Okay. Not any weird, let's make fun of them way. More of a, something's going on. Somebody who wants to spend $2,000 to pretend to be a dog in the hot weather outside and to be around other dogs. Man, I normally would be like, ah, maybe it's not that harmful. But based off what I've been reading into and what I've been seeing the last few days and last few weeks now that I've really been looking into the behind the stories of some of these kind of people, it can be some serious stuff because there's communities that house people like this individual. That's it is rampant and disgusting. And I can't think of another word for it. It's disgusting. What the stuff that they'll do to other animals and the stuff that they find appealing about dogs. Um, some people will get in relationships with dogs and some people will do the most grotesque things I've ever heard of with animals. I don't I gotta get that out of my brain now. So, no, don't think we should normalize this. It'll never be normal. Um, we should have a conversation with this young man. Obviously, shouldn't be putting it on TV like it's the coolest thing on earth because somebody who's willing to go to these links um, is obviously having some issues. So let's have a conversation with the young man. Let's talk, Oh, he could be an older man. Well, let's talk to him. Let's see what's going on. And if I see this pop up again, I will really do a deeper dive on this. If you guys want to see me do a deeper dive on this uh, individual, I can do that. 
um, and I'll look more into it and I'll make a full out flesh video. But this is just my not necessary reaction to him, but just the whole theory and thing. And um, when you take it out into the public, I have an issue, right? If you're struggling with mental issues and you're doing it at home, OK, but when you start bringing it out here, uh, we really got to have a conversation because there's something more going on. I think you should be going to therapy for that kind of stuff anyway. Um, but at the same time, if you're doing it at home, obviously, I don't know about it. So, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. Goodbye.